¿Por qué yo siempre en este mundo hay mío? Me gusta que cuando hablas de tu futuro estoy incluida Hello world of the internet I am here, I am present, I'm alive Let me put this thing, hold on, I'm trying to like zip up my thing Look you zipped up, do you look you zipped up? I don't know if you can hear <gasps> Is it, do you survive maybe? Dime por qué conmigo si no tienes sentido. Okay, nothing in my teeth. I'm pretty good. Pretty Gucci. Hello guys, welcome to another video, World of the Internet. I am here. Um, I wanted to do a sit-down video to let you know that I am officially 100% back on my game. I'm officially on my fitness journey again, weight loss. I don't want to call this week one, but I do feel like it's week one. I felt that way about a month ago, but then life kind of just went all over the place and I kind of stopped. But I'm not planning on doing that now because um, I think life is just starting to settle down a little bit. I think for the past few months you guys have seen me multiple times get on track and then fall off track and then get back on it. Um, and the reason why that's been happening is because there's been a lot of different things in my life um, that have affected my journey and everything is just disappeared now. For This is the first week that all of those factors that were affecting my life are no longer there. I've been traveling a lot. I think I kind of wanted to run away from some feelings that I was feeling and I just was like, I'm gonna go travel the world. But now I'm facing the music, of course. Um, and I decided to take a break of social media. So if you see this video, you see it because you're on YouTube, but um, I'm off Instagram for a few days, which is I think the longest break that I've ever taken on social media. But I think it's, I need it. I need it. And I wanna talk to you guys about my fitness and my weight loss journey and why I've decided to take a little break. I'm gonna come back. I love social media. I will come back. I kind of decided to stop traveling so I can focus on really like being happy, just being home. Uh, my parents are back in Peru now, so I'm by myself again. Very much on my own again, me. And when I'm on my own and by myself, that's when I work the best. That's when I'm the most disciplined and that's when I can really focus on my fitness and my weight loss journey, which is why I started that this week. I got back from Orlando. I went to Orlando for a few days. I ate a lot of junk food, also healthy food. I had some salads too, but most of the time I was like drinking some tequila and when you're drunk, you just wanna have some snacks and I had a lot of snacks. Um, so I definitely gained some weight, that's no secret. But as soon as I got back to Miami uh, on Tuesday, by Wednesday morning, I had already began my fitness journey and my weight loss journey. And I'm documenting that still. I'm gonna post it on Instagram one of these days when I decide to come back. But every day I'm documenting what I'm doing and I also wanna talk to you guys about it. So. The plan for this new journey of my life is I want to run at least three times a week using Couch to 5K. Um, and two, I want to go to my intense circuit training gym uh, three times a week as well. Uh, so I can have a balance of cardio with the running, but also strength training with a gym. I also kind of want to go back to my Sandry classes, Zumba Tony, because I love dancing. But I don't know if that's going to be a lot. But even if it's a lot, I feel like my body will adjust and if anything, it will make me fitter. But I just don't want to overdo it because a part of weight loss and fitness is having a great balance of all things. Of nutrition, of exercise, and of rest. So if you're doing a lot of things at the same time, your body's not resting. And you cannot um, really grow the muscles that you need to in a healthy way if you're not rested, if you're not sleeping, if you're not drinking your water, if you're not taking rest days. So I definitely want to do that. Uh, but... I don't know, I'm still trying to figure out how my schedule is going to look like, but I for sure want to do three times running and three times at the gym. Um, I started on Wednesday by going to the gym. Yesterday I went on my run, and today I'm going back to the gym in the afternoon. Uh, I'm eating really healthy. I'm eating, uh, I'm fa finally going back to my fitness ball and tracking my calories. I will give myself a couple of cheat days a week, and by cheat I mean days where I won't track but I will still try to track in my head. Does that make sense? So I can continue doing kind of intuitive eating. Um, and I don't know how that's gonna work yet, but I do wanna have a balance of all things. I do really wanna focus on the fitness aspect of things and I do wanna lose weight. When I look back on my pictures from like last year, this time last year, I was so skinny, but I didn't look healthy. I looked like I had just been sucked up because I wasn't working out and eating the same correct amount of food for the amount of workouts that I was doing. Does that make sense? Like I was working out too much and not eating enough 
for the amount of workouts. I was eating enough for a person that doesn't work out that hard, but because I was working out so hard, then the nutrition was just not the healthiest, I think. Um, and I do look like somebody had like sucked the life out of me. Still testing out the waters with the calories, uh, but I'm working on it. I feel great. Today is my day. Today is day number three since I started this journey and I feel really much on point and very much happy that I started again. I'm so proud of myself. I also wanted to give you updates on how I feel emotionally um, and why I decided to take a break of social media a little bit. Uh, when you take a break of social media, you lose followers. And so far I've lost a lot of followers, at least like a thousand followers since, since I last logged in. Um, I'm not worried about it. I am putting my mental health first and I'm happy with my choices. Even if I lose all the followers, I think right now what I need to focus on is me. Um, and sometimes the interaction online can be a lot. And sometimes you feel like you want to put on like a smile for everybody. And I don't feel like I have to when I'm going through a hard time. I post it. I'm doing this privately on my own so I can really like get to a place where I'm 100% happy and I think I'm getting there sooner than I expected uh, but also when it comes to being sad and when it comes to like you know missing people it's just up and down a lot uh, my parents left back to Peru and that's something that makes me sad and um, I'm dealing with a lot of different things but I'm doing well um, I know that hair grows what I mean by that is that Sometimes you go through a hard time that you don't think it's ever gonna end and you feel like oh my god I'm gonna feel this sad forever and I'm gonna miss people forever um, And then you realize that hair grows emotions Change it's just kind of what it is. You don't feel sad forever. You don't feel Heartbroken or missing people forever. You just kind of eventually feel a lot better um, and what I tell myself in the moments where I'm really sad or I feel like it's too much, I tell myself, you know, hair grows. And to me, that means that everything in life passes. I like sitting down on YouTube and talking to you guys because I feel like it's a little more intimate. Uh, whereas on Instagram, I have like 100K people viewing my stories and it's a lot of pressure at times. I'm doing well, I'm not, I'm not like, I don't want to paint the picture that I'm like super sad in the corner of the room crying because that's not the case. Um, it's just the acknowledgement that some things in my heart hurt a little bit and that I want to fix them before I get back on social media to start dancing and singing again. And once I do, I want you to know that I'm going to mean it every single second that I'm there. And I have ups, I want to keep them private. And when I have downs, I want to keep them private for a few more days. Um, like I said, I am documenting all the things that I'm doing in terms of fitness and weight loss so I can post it in one big video so you can see me getting back on it. Um, it can be challenging to get back on it when you've been off for like a month. I am. Um, I went to the gym on Wednesday and it's Friday and I'm still sore. I put up like a band-aid. The first days are always the hardest and then it just gets easier. So the bad part is over. The worst is over and now it's just gonna get easier. Um, but third day, I'm about to go to the gym this afternoon and I am eating healthy. So far I had a very healthy breakfast with some eggs and ham and one piece of toast. Um, and I'm trying my best to stay within my calorie range. I am doing 1500 calories every day now, um, but that goes up and down depending on how much I work out. Because each workout that I'm doing at the gym is like 600 calories that I burn. So that's a lot of calories burned. So I'm still trying to figure that out, but working on it, I wanted to pass by and tell you that I'm here. In two years of my weight loss journey, this is the first time that I go through something hard in my life and it has ups and downs. And I'm just dealing with that um, and doing it as gracefully as I possibly can um, with all the love and care in my heart that I possibly can have. Uh, and I feel good. It's just, you know, the little stitch in my heart that I'm just trying to make better. This is technically week one, but I don't want to call it week one because a month ago I called it week one. Week one. This is the prime example that if you want something, you need to start and start it as many times as you need to start it because sometimes we start and life happens. It's not about how many times you try and fail. It's about how many times you actually try and don't let the failures let you down and keep you from doing the things that you want. So if you've tried weight loss 10 times and you haven't actually made it happen, you can try an 11th time and as many times as you need to try in order for you to get what you want um and i'm gonna do that i'm gonna try and try again until it clicks and it's been clicking in my brain and i think i'm very committed um so i'm gonna be here i'm gonna be updating you what i'm eating and what i'm 
working out and how much I'm, I'm, I'm investing in this weight loss and fitness. But for now, three times a week gym, three times a week running, uh, using couch to 5K, and eating 1,500 calories a day, a lot of protein within those calories. Thanks for watching. Like always, you don't have to like and subscribe. Go to the gym. Don't go to the gym. Drink your water. Do your squats. Count your calories. Don't count your calories. Do whatever is going to make you feel your best. I support it. Be kind. Be positive. And go kick somebody. I'm out.